If you think you've already seen a costume drama about a British queen and a tearjerker about a parent trying to save a drug addicted son, well you have. We got the favorite and beautiful boy earlier in the year, and now as we near the rush of the holidays, we've got two more to muddy the waters. England does not look so different from Scotland. I Mary, Queen of Scots, goes back to the rivalry and friendship between Mary and her cousin Elizabeth. Written this time by one of the folks behind House of Cards, the new edition has plenty of political intrigue and religious wrangling. But it's the one-two punch of Shirsa Ronan and Margot Robbie that bears watching. The two play the rulers trying to gain leverage. Both have calculating men in their lives, both have different motives for their actions. While Ronan gets much of the focus as Mary, Robbie holds her own as the pockmarked Elizabeth. Although history says the two never met, it's too juicy not to bring them together. So director Josie Rourke crafts the big meeting in a way that pays off all that comes before it. I will not be scolded by my inferior. Your inferior. The Favorite is a more irreverent, fun film, but Mary Queen of Scots has a way of telling a story that makes history pop. Queen Anne, Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth, the royal well overflows. Ben is back, meanwhile, lets Julia Roberts get a sense of what Steve Carell went through in Beautiful Boy. Roberts plays the mother of a young man in rehab. When he shows up on her doorstep at Christmas, she doesn't know what to do. Is the visit sanctioned? Will he fall back into his old habits? Could this be the start of a new life? He's got the sparkle back in his eyes. The situation is filled He's with complications, and under Peter Hedge's direction, many of them play out. This time tomorrow, you are back in sober living. Yeah, OK. You do not leave my sight ever. He doesn't give Ben, played by his own son, Lucas Hedges, any easy outs, nor does he make the job easy on Roberts, who gives one of her best performances in years. I put my family in danger. This is on you. As the two try to find new common ground, they continue to encounter the old, shaky soil that took him down. The film isn't as depressing as Beautiful Boy, but it does traffic in some of the same deception and lies. Lucas Hedges is good as the boy, as he was the gruff older brother in mid-90s and the conversion camper in Boy Erased, but it's the interaction with Roberts that makes this work. The two are great together, able to prompt those difficult discussions in ways other films haven't. Ben is Back doesn't scream holiday movie, but it certainly shows all family gatherings aren't made of hot chocolate, Christmas carols, and presents. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.